you look like you're here because you want to make a ton of money and guess what i can help you do it just kidding i can't well i might be able to we'll figure it out if we buy a good house but today we're going to go over the highest paying jobs in lubbock texas that's right folks you know what you clicked on you're getting it let's do this okay so i'm going to try to be as accurate and specific as possible i'm going to kind of go into salaries but salaries are sometimes and often dependent on kind of what accolades you have or what certificates or degrees you have in different areas so Maybe we don't get in the weeds a lot. I'm assuming that if you have those certificates and degrees, you're gonna know what you should be doing and probably what your range should be, but we'll give rough estimates. So the disclaimer, that was a short disclaimer. If you are interested in buying a house in Lubbock, here's what you gotta do. My number is right here. Give me a call, even if you're just contemplating it. I would love to talk to you. It doesn't matter where in the country you are. Give me a call, shoot me a text. My email's below. I can't put my address online because someone will probably send me anthrax or a bomb, but I promise you, I will be the one answering you will talk to me we can figure out a good way to get you my number is right here if you're thinking about buying selling investing doing whatever you want to do come give me a ring I will answer it okay so let's just go start swinging out the gate this one's kind of obvious because this is pretty much the highest paying thing everywhere but Lubbock has one of the best healthcare systems in the state of Texas. We've got two major hospitals, UMC and Covenant, and they employ thousands upon thousands of people. Like it is a conveyor belt of people just going in and not coming out because the jobs are so good there. Just kidding. They're coming out so that you can get in. We're going to have them where I'm going to call up the doctors and have them fire everyone. So if you're a doctor watching this right now, you can come be a doctor in Lubbock. I'm assuming it's probably not hard to get a job as a doctor, but that's just another disclaimer. So the healthcare system is going to include hospitals, clinics, nursing homes, healthcare providers, maybe just pharmaceutical people, all that jazz. We will also just go ahead and throw dentists in there. And I rightfully so because dentists are doctors, no matter what anybody says. And I do need one for the ad because my teeth are uh, not the whitest. And I know I have a bunch of cavities, but let's just break this down real quick. So doctors, or maybe directors of hospitals will probably make the most money. Um, you're probably looking at over half a million dollars. If you're a surgeon or physician, full-time physician, I mean, that range can be anywhere between two and 400, just depending on what you do. Nurse practitioner, yada, 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 all that jazz, 100, 200. The point is, is Lubbock's got a very stable healthcare industry, and that's why we're hitting this at number one, because it really is just such a staple of our economy. Probably more than 10,000, 20,000 people employed amongst both hospitals and all sorts of different healthcare freaking things, whatever they are, all across the board. So yeah, that's just, gotta say that is number one. Giving a shout out to our hospital system. They keep us healthy, they keep us cool, they keep us clean. Let's move on to numero dos. So this one is also pretty Lubbock specific, agriculture. You weren't thinking it was going to be, but it is. I have said this time and time again, Lubbock, oceans of land, oceans of land. When the first settlers got here, they said, golly, there's just oceans of grass, which was true. Now we have absolutely pillaged the land and it's dirt, but we grow cotton on it. And we grow another crop called Milo. And actually, believe it or not, some people have started to grow hemp which is, I guess, weed, maybe not. It's kind of a different form of weed. I think you can make clothes and medicines out of it, but I guarantee if you walk in one of those fields, you're gonna be Cheech and Chong. You're gonna be puffing, you're gonna be high. So don't walk in there if you're prone or don't like being high. Um, but yeah, we grow a lot of crops here. And agriculture, I'm gonna fit this in with agriculture, but I'm gonna go with land ownership. Guys who own, or girls, who own land here, a lot of times what they'll do, and I never heard of this before Lubbock, is they will lease out their land, their farmland, to be farmed by a farmer. So they'll have a farmer will come in and pay to farm their land and farm cotton. Believe it or not, but I'm pretty sure that Lubbock County is the second most subsidized counties in the state of Texas. That's because if these farmers don't get a good crop, the government will come in and essentially pay them insurance on their cotton, which is kind of crazy. You can have your opinion on whether you think that's good or not. Um, it just is a, a, the nature of the beast, but we have a lot of land that is farmed and there's a lot of jobs in agriculture. I mean, you got ranching too, which a lot of people have land and put cattle on it and then sell the beef and do all that jazz. So there's just a lot of industry there, not to mention selling the crop that you get. And Lubbock's a big distributor of cotton, one of the biggest in Texas, I believe. So we are just pushing cotton out. We're co 
cotton pushers. We're just pushing it out left and right. Boom, 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 boom. So not to mention in agriculture, you could also be like a scientist of some sort. You could be a crop specialist. You could be a some other form of scientist that deals with the crops or the land, um, or maybe you're a supply chain person who deals with the day-to-day uh, -day and the, the uh, logistics behind getting the crops distributed and all that jazz and how cotton becomes a t-shirt and how it becomes pants and my underwear. Everything, all of the above, agriculture's all-encompassing business, have to talk about it. That's number two. Numero tres, as we say in Texas, we speak Spanish here sometimes, guys. Mexico is right there. So anyway, number three is going to be oil and gas, the oil and gas industry. This is gonna be, you know, you could be a uh, geologist, you could be a, maybe a geographer, you could be a petroleum engineer, you could just be someone who works in the oil field and does more blue collar type stuff. We live close to Midland, Odessa. We're about two hours away, which is the Permian Basin. So much freaking oil is shooting out of the ground there. It is bonkers. It is just spewing up all the time. It's like a scene in that movie, There Will Be Blood, where Daniel Plainview is sitting on his chair watching the oil spewed out from the tower thing. It's on fire. But it's crazy. I mean, you think of the old, you think of the, the classic Texan business tycoon. He's an old tycoon. You're thinking of Midland, Odessa. That's where they're from. It's also the home of uh, Friday Night Lights. But this channel's not about Midland, it's about Texas, so I guess it kind of is, but it's mostly about Lubbock. I actually have tenants who live in a house that I own that commute to go work in the oil field uh, a couple times a week and come back you know, they're, they'll, they're there for, you know, they could be there for a week, could be there a couple days, maybe longer, but a lot of people actually do commute out from Lubbock to the oil field. And um, especially the more scientifically oriented, the petroleum engineers and the geographers, uh, but also we don't, we're not short of oil here either. There's, a, there's actually a town called Sundown that's about 45 minutes away. I've sold a house out there before, and all you see when you're driving there is oil oil wells just going boof, 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 up down in the ground and it smells like oil. I mean, it smells like straight up money. There's two things that people in Lubbock say smell like cash. That's cow poop and oil. And we just say, you know, if the, if the cow poop comes smelling in from the feedlots, which doesn't happen all that often, but sometimes it does, you just go, I love the smell of money. That's what I say. I'm just like, oh, I love the smell of money in the morning. Mm, nice, nice cup of coffee and the smell of money. It's actually cow poop. But that's something we have to put in there is the oil and gas industry. Whatever you're gonna be doing in there, you're gonna find some of the highest paying jobs in that industry. Okay, numero cuatro. Number four for you English speakers out there. We are getting into the elephant in the room. That's right, folks. Texas Tech University. One of the main reasons Lubbock is so popular and a huge reason that people move here, like 40,000 people a year, and stay here for a year, students, is Texas Tech University. Texas Tech has over 10,000 employees and they can range from, you can be a professor, you can work administration, you can be an advisor, you could work on the grounds, you could work in a cafeteria, you could work construction on tech, you could do all sorts of things. It is such a staple of our economy and provides so many jobs. It's literally in the middle of the city, first of all. People flock to it like it is Mecca. I mean, people love Texas Tech. It's such a huge, huge boom uh, part of our economy. But, you know, education's all encompassing on a mass scale when we're talking about a university system because it provides so many jobs for so many people at so many levels. Professors, uh, depending on if you're tenured or not, I know you're probably making six figs, um, just depending on how long you've been doing it and what you've been doing in that field. But you know, I mean, that's just a huge part of our economy. You're gonna find some of the highest paying jobs uh, at Texas Tech. And not to mention, we have two other major colleges here, which is Lubbock Christian University, LCU, and South Plains College, which also provide a crap ton of jobs. And LCU is a private school, so you know they're making bank there. You absolutely know that bank is being made at LCU. So there's just a lot of jobs in that industry, in that field, one of the highest paying in Lubbock. Okay, rounding it on off with number five. That's right, folks, 
I'm getting to it right now, real estate. Okay, so number five is going to be the industry that I am in, it's gonna be real estate. That's right, folks. We've got so many people moving here that real estate has been booming the last two, three years. Because rates are high, we are showing a little bit of slowdown, but it's actually giving Lubbock good time to have an inventory catch up to where it wasn't. So another reason I say real estate, and I'm not saying you have to become a realtor, I would advise against it, but I'm saying, real estate is such an all-encompassing field if you've got a house you've got to have an electrician you've got to have a carpenter you've got to have a plumber you've got to have all the an architect you got to have all these things coalesce and come together to make one beautiful creation which is a home and not even just homes we're building so much here and developing so frequently and so fast and and this could just be infrastructure as well I'm gonna throw in construction infrastructure too like the new loop that we're building that's gonna go around the south of Lubbock entirely that's infrastructure that's construction for you but real estate specifically not just houses commercial buildings hospitals retail spaces restaurants you name it we are doing it people here are building they are rehabbing fixing flipping things that they're that have been here for a long time making them new going out and freaking making these new posh areas where there's breweries and all this stuff where people with bean beanies and and uh where people with beanies and scarves like to go hang out and smoke cigarettes i might be one of them uh but yeah, it's just such it's such a broad field i have to include it because it is such a staple of our economy and because it is such a powerhouse of our economy it provides so many jobs you're talking if you are a real estate agent maybe you're a broker maybe you work for a title company maybe you're a home inspector maybe you're a you're a contractor who knows how to fix put you know fix holes in walls when college students punch through them when they're hammered at three o'clock in the morning at parties that I've never been to so th those are just that's something that and you know your price range if you're looking at these things I mean anywhere between 50 to 100 if you're you know maybe on the construction side or blue collar side of it and the sky's the limit if you're on the entrepreneurial side of it builders make a killing here and investors do well here we just uh, helped one of my main guys out buy his first investment property here. Guy from California, he'll know who he is. And we bought him a smoking deal, smoking deal. So yeah, I'm helping people invest here. They're loving it, they're making money, it's going great. I'm invested here myself personally. I own 11 houses here with my dad. We own two apartment complexes. We love Lubbock. We believe in it long term. I wouldn't tell you to do anything I wasn't doing. That's another one of the highest paying jobs here. So those are things to consider. Hey, if you're watching this video right now and you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, comment below what you want to see. We are open to suggestions. We'd love to see it. We got plenty of videos going around here. We will see you guys in the next one. Toodles.